C P P P P P P P K P S S P S What they do? Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med. Scarlet News with a buzz. There's a saying in Jamaica that goes something like this: "Don't you know who for frighten." What that pretty much means in English is sometimes you do a risk assessment of a situation, of a person. And within yourself, you think that if you and this person get into some sort of confrontation, physical to whatever extreme, you are going to have the upper hand. You are going to win. Sometimes you assume and your assumption is wrong. So the person who the doppy is trying to frighten turn the table upon the doppy and pretty much doppy the doppy. This is the case as it pertains to a security guard that decided that listen, me I go bad up one poor poor a member of the JCF because him look like some sort of soft soap. Him look like he is a rookie. Him look like him still have some sort of baby milk upon the corner I mouth. However, that rookie went in and told his superior or some other squaddy that don't look like any sort of soft soap, soft soap, know the road code, know how to handle themselves, and when them come back is a different argument the security guard had. So people, I want you to take a listen, take a look at this video explain the whole situation in intricate details and how the top squad of them deal with it defended their rookie squad take a listen take a look uh, yeah you know that you know that brother yeah we never had that case on this morning yeah but we never checked name so, so all you know, know so say, me not mention nothing about <laughs> check so all you know that no that didn't say it's a check name Hey, I want to make you and tell you. Yeah. Hold on. You see, in this life, yeah, I'm going to show you something. What I will for people do some things out of the street, yeah, you know. Huh? And it just go down and it mellow down. Sure. You see, if I did me a try that with this man, eh, it would be a whole different ball game. Yeah. Believe that. We just tell you. So, because I look like you know, all the police were soft. If you did try that with me this morning, it would be a whole different ball game, brother. It don't matter, it don't matter what circle you are in, it don't matter which part you work, it don't matter your who. Listen to me. You have to be careful how you address people in the street. The man in a uniform. You tell the man about where you buck him in a town. What you do? You a madman? Eh? Me would have fixed the situation right here, sir. Because you're not going to buck me in a town. Because you're not going to do buck me. We just have to tell you that. Brethren, you tell the man, say, wait till you book him in that town, or where, where, where? Well, me, I warn you now. Because that are the duty of the police not to carry out the threat. You hear me, say? And I don't matter how fuck. How is he going to come in this? Modern investigation? Modern. Modern. Take his name or something. It's across through the office, man. I don't understand that. When the man tell me a while ago, it's like me last, like me I say. What you say? Are you serious? In a government uniform, while security guard I tell you that? You say you're mad? How does that happen? Really, huh? Chief? Why? Crazy, Bridget. And I'm because the police send us one up on the right side. Why the murder? In the say you're gonna support it and thing. What a boss. Whole different ball game. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. oh man, oh man, if you look for me, I tell me that now government jeans. You crazy? Fifth? I'm mad, bro. Crazy man. Oh, it's a murder from PS25. No, brother, I'm not. I want to sit with me, none at all, brother. None at all. PS25 along with the right way, Patrick. Yeah, you know, that's my feeling right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
You're crazy, man. VCP and then incident free. No breaches of the RK. Safe copy. Ops office south. Alright, Mr. Wilson. Patrol Wimbo supervisor. Time. No, 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 regular civilian out of street. You can't commander. function like that. You're crazy, Reggie. You don't function like that. You know your uniform and your work. You don't function like that. You're crazy. You know matter who I go down. You must act professional. Must. Mr. Campbell. You know why look a waste man out the street where you have somebody that's a war, random war. Crazy. Police emergency from Hunt Street. Yeah, what? They are going to go and clutch you. Now, people, when you listen to a video or the audio of a video and you hear this, you have to say to yourself, then hold on a minute. It seems as if the poor poor and the gangster sound the same. Them deal with situation just the same. But there's a saying that goes something like this. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. What this means is that the poor poor, they work in a very hostile environment. Hostile situation. So therefore, they have to adjust accordingly, acclimatize to the situation. So apparently, when this poor poor told the squad what had happened, his experience with the security guard, and the security guard tell him, say, listen, wait till my buck you up downtown. The poor poor did the writing, made a report. However, when he, made, when he left to make that report, the poor poor them must say, no man, this does not sound right. We have got page this man and see exactly where him officer for himself. So the first thing when them pull up, they did some sort of identification and ask him, Mr. Man, Mr. Sir, did you really threat the poor poor or tell the poor poor say, whenever you see him, what you going to do to him downtown wherever? Mr. Waterboss, the poor poor, make you know, say, listen, watch yourself. This is no sorts of soft soap. Don't be no over frightened. Not because you see this little poor poor and him look like him have similar in the corner of his mouth and him look like some sorts of rookie. Him look like him can mash ants. Know where you are ramp with. Know who you are ramp with. People like me say, the theme is, Duppy no over frighten. Whenever Duppy frighten the wrong person, that Duppy could have his Duppy bad flick. That is pretty much what the poor poor is telling them. So he must say, Oh, you for this, the order. Oh, you for this, the uniform, the badge of the JCF. You couldn't be a gangster. You couldn't work with King Alarm, this alarm, that alarm. It does not matter. The repercussion is going to be the same thing. Ima make him know, say, listen, I would fix this situation differently. Now, people, I don't want to put any sorts of word in anybody's mouth, but you know exactly what he is talking about when you hear him say, him would have fixed the situation way, way different. Ima say, but this man here threatened the poor poor. It is as if him depend some sorts of D E A T H wish. How him do that and still alive he is defying gravity that is not supposed to happen. He must say yes, the poor poor make a report and do the right thing. However, if I did me, water bars and me squad them, people would end up D E A D I N G R hurt. People, this is me putting word in the officer's mouth. He did not say it. However, we can assume, we could speculate that maybe that is what he is inferring to. So I make him know, say, listen, this was a hard pill to swallow. Don't do it again. As a matter of fact, if you do it to me or do it to somebody like me, more than likely there won't be any type of going downtown. It is going to end right there. That includes your life. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called the double standard and the preference in which rich people get when they go to court for the most atrocious crimes, including M-U-R-D-E-R. 
I am speaking about an incident that occurred on the 13th of January in which a youth, 9 to 10 year old Gabriel King, he was abducted from the Tucker Main Road. The vehicle that his mom was allegedly in when she was approached by some men with guns that took away the vehicle, Audi and the little son in the back seats. This was Tucker Main Road. The van or vehicle was found in Fairfield Main Road, just down the street, a little distance away. Since then, there has been all sorts of controversy as to how this youth lost his life. The mother, Amai Leon Issa, she has refused to cooperate with the poor poor to the fullest extent, specifically as it pertains to a phone that was hers. The court ordered several occasions for her to give the poor poor access to retrieve the data through some sorts of PIN code, whatever password was needed to access, so they could get data that is pertinent to the investigation to see if this family had anything to do with the disappearance and the body being found of this liquor youth and what was the cause. Now since then, this lady got some big lawyer. She now is represented by a lawyer named Mr. Cameron. She had a lawyer before this. And he filed a lot of stuff in the courts. They got a couple of court orders, at least three or four from the judge, saying that they need to get access as a matter of fact. This lady had pretty much violated all of those orders. So... We can come to the assumption that they are using all sorts of delayed tactics, all sorts of legal loophole, all sorts of legal mumbo jumbo to delay the process. The last thing that she did, she is now suing the court, suing the state, suing the attorney general for monetary gains also so not only a lawsuit she is seeking monetary damage basically she is saying that they have infringed on her rights her rights to privacy the judge should not have been allowed to give the poor poor access to the phone or they have the phone already just the password the passcode it should not be unlimited access. They should have had to specify the time and the type of data. This lady used her phone like most persons. So therefore, it is the most private thing they have. So therefore, if you allow people just a free range to look at a people's phone, it is a violation of their civil rights. It is a violation of their privacy. And nobody's privacy should be violated. Now people, you would have think that you as a mother, your son was abducted and lost his life in the way that Mr. King did. You would have thought that that would be your priority. Nothing else would matter if you have any sorts of picture, P-U-M-S or slang picture in your phone. You would not care. You are going to do everything to cooperate with the Popo to make sure that justice was served. Unless you had an ulterior motive. Unless you had a reason to defer, delay, throw off the Popo. Then there's no other sorts of justification other than this is just a next delay tactics. That is used by the rich Mrs. Amoy Leon Issa to not give her son the justice that he deserves. And people, what is laughable about the whole situation is the double standard that exists in a Jamaica. Because had this been somebody from a garrison or the normal average Jamaican, the poor poor would not take the phone going out a long time. So, when we hear these judges giving out orders, one, two, three, four, and this person is not reprimanded, is not fined, is not locked up for violating the courts, 
you have to wonder if this does not defy rational that we've seen in the courts. And as a matter of fact, there was an incident in the court the other day in which some sorts of journalists was recording on his phone and the judge ordered him not to. That judge then told one of those poor poor to go in the phone manually, physically and remove anything of any sorts of recording. Remember, this lawyer said that your phone is the most private thing. I guess that rules and law does not apply. I guess the judge moved swiftly. There was no sorts of order given. There was no sorts of date given like Mrs. Amoy got on about three or four occasions. What about the privacy of that person? What about the privacy of the average Jamaican? People, it does not make any sorts of sense. The average Jamaican, whether them have any sorts of F-R-E-A-K-Y stuff in a them phone, they would readily give that phone to the investigators to make sure so them clear them name, whatever assistance that they can assist to get their child back or get justice for that child. That is what the average thinking Jamaican would have done unless they have something to hide, which is the case as it pertains to Mrs. Issa. Mr. Cameron, the lawyer, also said that, listen, Mrs. Issa does not have any sort of criminal background, so therefore she should not be treated like a criminal. However, whatever she is doing, it shows that she has some sort of bad intention. Just by her action, she is perverting the case of justice. She is hindering the case. Instead of seeking justice for her son, she is doing everything to derail the case. So therefore, she must have some sort of ulterior motive. That is the only rational thinking that anybody can have. So Mrs. Issa's lawyer, Mr. Cameron, is claiming that the prosecution... The judge, the investigators could have seeked that information through the new cyber act by going to the telephone company, the mobile company and getting the information that way. People, does that make any sorts of sense to you that you are going to go the wrong or the long route when you have the phone in your possession? All this lady had to do is give them access Give them the password, give them the passcode, the pin, whatever, and make them get where they must get. If she's innocent, it would clear her simply by doing that. So people, when we look at all the trickery, all the delay that is going on, the fact that this youth, when he lost his life, because the investigation was still pending, they did some sorts of legal mumbo jumbo, them get the B-O-D-Y, and they also cremated the B.O.D.Y. of this youth while the investigation was still ongoing. So based on all that we are seeing and the fact that the DPP is silent, the fact that the top popo are silent, Mr. Fitzbailey, the fact that the government is silent, the fact that this lady by herself is allowed to hold the court, the whole justice system, the judge by its B-A-L-L-S and get away with all of this buffoonery using all sorts of psychs and tactics and loophole to pretty much delay everything. No sorts of justice for her own son, Gabriel King. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.